Welcome back guys to another episode of Facts and Hunt. Today's video, we are going to be shooting the new Bowtech Core SR. This is the Speed Bow from Bowtech. First impressions right off the bat, it's a good looking bow. And the new technologies and stuff that they added to this bow, I'm super pumped to go over a little bit with you guys before we get into the process of shooting it and how it feels. So if you wanna see my first impressions of the new Bowtech Core SR, go ahead and stay tuned. All right guys, really quick, I just wanna interrupt a uh, Core SR video. Let you know I do have a giveaway going on. Um, it is live on my website. If you go to hacksandhunt.com, purchase a hat, any hat. Only 250 hats to be able to be entered in to win a Matthews V3. So I'm giving away my personal Matthews V3 to one of you guys. Only 250 people can be entered. Um, so if you wanna get entered in to win, go to hacksandhunt.com, buy a hat, you could win the bow and uh, I'm really pumped. Hopefully we can sell all the hats. There's only a few left uh, before Christmas. That way you guys can be able to have, one of you guys can win a bow for Christmas. Basically is what I'm looking for. So anyway, really appreciate your guys' support that we have on this giveaway. Uh, it means a lot to me. Support you, uh, people do show and I am super pumped to be able to give away my personal V3 to one of you guys. Okay, so first things right off the bat, their grip, I'm um, actually, Super pumped about that. You can loosen this Allen and then change the angle of that grip to your liking. So really, really customizable. You've got quarter inch increments for your draw length. You've got time lock system to adjust your timing. That is new. I did not know about that. I just barely saw that. Um, so that way you're not adding and taking out twists in your string, in your cables. It's literally just an Allen to adjust that. Super dope. Um, you, the, what is it? the deadlock system to go to the tune. So you're not shimming anything. You're being able to adjust, uh, your cams. So like the adjustability and the ability for anyone with or without a shop to be able to work on this bow to change stuff up is by far the easiest, I would say out of a lot of bows this year. So super, super pumped about that. Pumped about the new center mass technology. Basically, same thing that Matthews did straight through the riser. However, the nice thing about this is you're not having a locking pin coming in at the angle to be able to lock that side in. It's actually screwed in with an Allen to the riser. So right here, solid here. So you're actually basically the same thing, burger button, but it's right in the center of your riser. Um, let's draw this thing back. We are set up at 30 pounds, or sorry, 30 inches, 70 pounds. Let's see how well this thing draws. This is again the SR, so it's a speed bow, so it might not be as smooth as we all love. It's actually fairly smooth. That is not bad at all. Let's shoot this thing. Rock solid back wall. Okay, um, the noise that you're probably gonna be hearing is this tag. Um, I usually try to take them off, but this one I can't take off. So if you do hear random noise, it is gonna be that tag. I didn't love the way that that shot felt. Let's see, let's do that again. I, f I feel like it, it like, it kicks. It's not like a jump forward, but it's like a sideways kick. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, the vibration of it. There's not like hen vibration. There's a little bit, but like it's not, I don't know. Not super, super impressed with the way the shot feels. The draw cycle is very smooth. The back wall is very solid. I like a solid back wall, so let's do that again. All right, so this shot process isn't my absolute favorite, but it's, it, it just kicks a little bit to the side, which it's not the end of the world. It is a speed bow. You're, you're looking at, getting top speed out of it. So it's not about being comfortable. Um, it is in the comfort mode on the, on the flip disc. So it sh it's definitely a lot more comfortable than what it's gonna perform on performance. Uh, I'm not 
I'm not the biggest fan of, a, of the performance side of the mods just because you gain like eight to 10 feet a second and it's super, super like uncomfortable to shoot. So that's why I do have it in comfort mode because I, I enjoy it a lot more than shooting those performance side. I mean, pretty consistent. I feel like it holds really well. Back wall is really solid. Draws fairly smooth. Um, but having the ability to adjust basically your shims, adjust your cams, your cam timing, um, super nice. The lock inside the riser, the integrate as well as for your rest. Um, the grip to be able to adjust that. Like, There's a lot of cool features as far as uh, a do-it-yourself at home type of work. Like you can literally tune 100% of this bow without a bow press. The only thing you need a bow press for is to get your peep sight in. So that is a really good thing to have, especially if you're not close to any bow shops. Um, I do want to see the speeds it is getting. So we're going to run over to the chronograph. We're going to shoot this thing through the chrono and see the speeds it is getting. It is a speed bow, so it should hopefully be getting good speeds. It IBOs at 344. So I'm hoping with at least a 400 grand arrow, you're going to be 310 maybe max. So hoping that that is kind of how it goes. If it's not performing that, then we're going to have to reconsider because if it's not getting super good speeds it's not the most comfortable blow to shoot so we'll see if it is getting those speeds that, that they are um, promoting obviously not the ibl but good speeds so turn and shoot it through the chronograph and uh, see what kind of speeds it is truly getting all right so first up through the chronograph is going to be the 400 grain arrow um, again the bow is set up at 70 pounds 30 inch draw so we're, it is a speed bow, so it should be theoretically getting very good speeds. So we're about to find out how fast my lightest arrow, 400 grain arrow, does get. Three oh four. So honestly, not not super fast. I mean, three oh four. Yeah, it's a good speed, but not not as fast as. And then if you're in performance mode, you'll be getting 314 or so, which, yeah, that's, that is fairly impressive, but it's very uncomfortable in performance mode. Here's a 420 grain arrow. Okay, that's fairly decent there. We are at 300 feet a second. So maintaining that speed, pretty good um, with that heavier arrow. Here is a 440 grain arrow. Two ninety six, so okay, it is maintaining it. We're gonna go up forty grains from four forty to four eighty, and see what it shoots here. Two seventy nine. Okay, I feel like the heavier the arrow, the better speed as far as like main, maintaining the speed it's getting. 500 grain arrow. 275. Not terrible. And a 520 grain arrow. Two seventy. So anywhere from three oh four to two seventy, depending on the uh, weight, of, weight of the arrow. I do like shooting hunting arrow weights that a lot of you guys are gonna be shooting anyway. So decent speeds, not, not as much as I'd hope being a kind of a speed bow, um, but it's not, not the absolute worst. So we're gonna do a quick three arrow group. I can give you my overview thoughts of the whole entire bow itself and uh, you know, kind of the ins and outs, what I like and dislike. Um, overall. So anyway, that's that's the speeds for the Core, core SR. Let's uh, do a quick three arrow group and kind of decide if it would be worth it. All right, so let's go over the consistency of the shot as well as just settling in. Um, see how accurate basically I feel like it could be with the consistency. Feels like it settles. 
a decent amount. I am gonna throw on an extra stabilizer to see, I wanna see how it performs as far as the shot and the settling of it. See how much it changes as far as comfortability goes. I feel like I'm fighting a little bit of float. It's not, it's not terrible. I feel like I've shot better as far as more comfortable. It's not the worst, it's not the best. I feel like the adjustability and like the options that you have to be able to tune this bow at home is what makes this bow worth it. Whether you go SR or the SS, I feel like the SS might be more comfortable. Um, I am gonna do a video on that to see, but I feel like overall it's a, it's a good bow, not anything mind blowing as far as performance goes with speed, comfortability, uh, consistency, but the kind of the mind blowing part is gonna be all the adjustabilities, the adjustments that you can make at home, tuning, fine tuning, fine adjustments to make it more comfortable to you as far as the grip goes, quarter inch increments, um, the draw stop, like everything is pretty customizable to you as a shooter. So that I feel like would make it worth it. So if that's something that you're kind of looking forward to, to be able to work on it yourself at home without a bow press, being able to customize it and make it more efficient for you, then yeah, I would, I would recommend getting to your nearest dealer, shooting the Core SR, testing it out, see what your thoughts are on this bow. But uh, I think that's gonna be it for today, guys. Really appreciate your support. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. And if you wanna help support the channel more, then go over to hacksandhunt.com, purchase any merch, help support me, and uh, be able to do this full time. So anyway, really appreciate your support. We'll catch you guys next time.